my name is Ramsey. Welcome back to Slate the Spine. We're going to be continuing with the defect in Ascension 20. Another try. Yes, thank you, Meow. Wasn't really pleased with my last one. Let's uh, choose a card to obtain. Streamline. Neat. Okay, so Streamline gives me the ability to start going for really, really early elites. There's no path that has more than two elites here, but there is a path that has a bunch of upgrades as well as a couple of rests. So hang on. Uh... Four question marks, elite rest, normal combat, pick up my reward, another rest, another question mark, and then another elite. Um, seems like very little wasted space on this path, so we'll go there. One of the big problems that you have, uh, especially in Ascension 20, is not wanting to go for too many elites. Or specifically not wanting to go for too many elites before you pick up some aggressive attacks and you need the fights before those elites to pick up aggressive attacks that said we already have streamlines so we can kind of ignore that uh, take a ball lightning and some damage here yeah i mean we are about to try and go head first into a couple of elites so sure um upgrading cards is so damn important for this character kunai every time we play three attacks in a single turn gain one dex well now we already have an idea of where we really want to go with this deck Smooth stone. It's probably not going to save us enough HP over the course of the entire run to really justify what I just did, but eh, it's okay. I, I just did it, I guess. Uh oh. What? Yeah, I'm not... So I hit uh, I hit three and end turn at the same time. I'm not making any different moves based on the fact that I know what's going to happen next turn or what I'm going to draw next turn in particular. I'm doing exactly the same thing. Just making sure that I don't get cheated out of six HP, which seems like it might be integral at this point to keeping me alive. Please, thank you. Whew, that would have been real sad. That said, real life's not that much better. Shuriken, every time we play three attacks in a single turn, gain one to your strength. Uh, obviously, now we just want to pivot into a bunch of low-cost attacks. So, I'm going to rest here. I'm going to try and dodge elites late. I can't dodge elites later. Damn it. I have to fight an elite later this floor. Which means that I means that what? It means that I probably rest in the next upcoming space as well. As much as I'm talking about the ridiculous importance of upgrades to this character, having both Kunai and Shuriken means that if I build a zero-cost attack build, I can fly off the handle in terms of power. Sunder to help me through elites. Uh, Dark Zone Perry up to 20. You obtain a curse, increase your max HP by 6. Occasionally you do obtain a curse that you can't really do anything about, I guess. I think upgrading that Sunder is probably going to save us a turn's worth of combat. And in doing so, save us HP. Boot sequence seems really good for us. Uh, I probably want to leave boot sequence in the deck actually for later. This is going to be a rough combat for us. So if I dual cast here, the enemy loses 16 and then another 3, so 19. They go down to. Uh. 29, which means that the Sunder kills them next turn. So I actually do dual cast this turn. It's really important. Really important that we figure that out. And as I as I said, the Sunder saves us an extra turn. Tiny chest upon pickup, gain 30 gold. You're 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms, as well as consume skim to fragment. Usually I would be all over 
the defragment, but not with the type of deck that we're trying to build at the moment. Unfortunately, it does look like the type of deck we're trying to build at the moment might just not work. Occasionally that happens. Occasionally things just do not work. Uh, it's really important to guarantee that I don't take random damage here. Great. Immediately afterwards, take damage directly. God dang it. My jawworm. Hello, charge battery, I guess. I was really hoping I would have some zero cost attacks by now. Uh, I can take a Curse of Doubt, but obviously with the fact that Sunder and Streamline are all of the damage on deck, we don't really want that. Uh, we're probably already dead. I'll say that. Uh, yeah, we just don't have enough defense in this deck. So I'll, I'll rest at this point, but... And use the Liquid Bronze. But this probably isn't going to go well for us overall. It's really unfortunate when you get, like, the Relic set up for something, but... It goes unfulfilled. Should have used the dual cast there. Forgot that I had the extra energy from the charged battery last turn. Alright. I think it's possible that I live through the enemy doing their giant hit in a couple turns time. Never mind. It was possible exclusively if boot sequence remained in my deck at that point, but it didn't. So that's why I tried to defend rather than trying to just go in with extra damage using the Sunder. As it turns out, the extra damage from the Sunder wouldn't have even saved us, so... Oh, actually, with the enemy hitting me there, maybe it would have. Double defended. Double defend was 12... Yeah, I was on less than 12 at that point. Never mind, I already would have been dead. Another try. Another try indeed. Let's go for... Three random... Uh, let's transform a strike. Ooh, you had to give me a card that is entirely useless by itself? Okay, well, we now have Amplify. Um... Consider that this is probably going to be a throwaway run because I'm going to try and make that Amplify work. But with uh, heavily signposted caveats of it probably won't. It is really, really bad just by itself. Obviously because it has no effect until it's paired with anything else and it's only paired with cards that by their very design leave your deck after playing them. You know what? Get out of the deck, Amplify. You, if I'm going to be given a card removal opportunity at that point, I'll take it. We're done with you. Especially because I've got two upgraded strikes, a removal of a strike from the deck. I don't know. It's kind of good. Perfect, perfect turn right there, though. Swift Potion, as well as Bullseye, Hologram, and... Hello, world. No. Let's upgrade the zap and then the dual cast thereafter. Fight exactly one elite. Hopefully we don't die here. Although, it's not looking great. Yeah, I really need to just over-defend on those turns. Ow. Two strikes? That's enough for the backline. And two strikes and a single defend? No. Never mind, it worked out. Hell, didn't even need the two strikes. Beautiful. Worked out as well as it possibly could have.
You know what? Good. Woo! I didn't want to draw and not have the ability to defend next turn when it was actually going to be really important. Uh, Giria, when it, uh, you may now gain strength at rest sites up to three times maximum, as well as self-repair is really good if you're not going to be resting at rest sites. May as well be gaining something from them. So yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna gain strength at the next three sites. This is going to be really wild. Bag of marbles at the start of combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Lift to gain. <laughs> FTL and Barrage both suddenly seem much better than they had previously. Uh, and dramatic entrance as well, actually. Dramatic entrance in FTL. <laughs> dramatic entrance is really good when all enemies are vulnerable on turn one and you have all of your extra strength from Gearia. Beam cell. Yeah, I guess we're not turn one stuff. Sure. So uh, this boss fight is going to be interesting. Hopefully interesting good rather than interesting bad. Self-repair actually being in this combat is incredible. Strength potion as well as sweeping beam. Yes, AoE is goddamn incredible. My god, this actually might work. This whole just having a ridiculous amount of strength might be a thing. So upgrade dramatic entrance and it's eight damage. So eight damage becomes 11 damage. 11 damage becomes 16. 16 AOE for zero energy is really good. I might want to take that beam cell upgrade to help me through this upcoming boss. You take nine damage here, you go down to... Ooh, we don't even have a good next hand. Do I split the enemy now then? Yeah, I'm gonna split the enemy now. It's gonna work out way better for us overall, I think. Perfect. Oh, yes. Vice King Mission, Buffer, and Meteor Strike. Uh, none of those really fit with this deck. This deck kind of wants to be quick. And it doesn't really defend that well, so it doesn't really want Vice. Yeah, it's, it's none of those. Ah, oh, that's really unfortunate as well. Snack away doesn't really work with this deck because we want many small attacks. Uh, I probably just want to get that dual cast out of here now because it's not yet upgraded. So to be dual cast defend and maybe the unupgraded strike, all of those get transformed by astrolabe because we're not going for inserter. Barrage is a fine pickup if I get a couple more orbs in the deck. Bullseye, eh, reboot, meh. If I have more zero cost attacks, then the reboot suddenly becomes a lot better, obviously. This path has two really early upgrades, and I want both of them. Just because I missed out on upgrades last time. All right, reboot gives us... Hell yeah, bunch of damage. Barrage is goddamn insane in this deck right now. Uh, static Discharge, whenever you receive attack damage, channel two lightning. I suspect that having that is just great for our boss fights and stuff. Take the relic. Oh my god! Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Give me an all-out attack. Not all-out attack. The name of it is not all-out attack. It's something else. All for one. There we go. Give me an all for one video game, please.
Another FTL. Just seems a great way to get some damage out there. Uh, ooh, this is a special relic, and we got the bloody idol whenever you gain gold, heal 5 HP. That is ridiculous. Uh, I can go for the non... The non-emerald elite here. Probably a much better idea for us. and go for the eyes. Beautiful. Apply weaken while doing all of this as well. Uh, go for the eyes being upgraded for the extra weaken is actually really important. Especially against the Book of Stabbing. Very glad that I did that. Right. Going for another attack is another point of strength for me. I think that extra 21 damage will save us a turn's worth of the enemy damaging me, so I think ultimately it becomes worth it as a result. Self repair even gets played at the very end. Uh, frozen egg, whenever you need a power card to your deck, upgrade it, as well as another FTL. Thank you. Uh, I suspect at this point I might want to just rest. Also, I kind of want to push my luck. Like, I'm this uh, this far ahead of the game right now. Back in preparation. The start of each combat, draw two additional cards, as well as the extra 5 HP there from the bloody idol triggering. Thank you. I'll rest in this position now, because I do have an elite coming up. Unless I want to stray away from it. I do have the ability to get away. Probably don't want to, but... It is available. Bullseye, reboot, give us a zero, uh, low cost attack, please. Thank you. We're almost back on full HP. After all of this, we're almost back on full HP. Ridiculous. Yeah, let's go for another elite, I guess. Hmm. I'm always a little concerned. I'm going to defend here. Have a look at how this goes. I suspect the Slaver is going to die. Hit, I generate two lightning. Hit, I generate two lightning. One of those lightning hits the backline and takes out the Slaver. So it was a little bit of a gamble there, but it did manage to get us some extra damage at no real risk to ourselves. Lovely. Uh, Bottle Tornado. Upon pickup, choose a power card. Start each combat down in your opening hand, as well as Core Surge. Ooh. Uh, will Bottle Tornado the Static Discharge just makes boss fights and elite fights a lot easier, and it means that our barrage is near constantly going to be filled. I'll defend, reboot, and just play another defend if I get it. I mean, I wasn't expecting to draw into lethal, but I guess I'll take it. Uh, chill, beam cell, and genetic algorithm. Chill is actually really good. And we kind of still do need defense. That is my one of my primary concerns at this point, right? We still just desperately need defense. We just don't have enough.
ridiculous that that actually worked out perfectly in terms of damage for us as well, by the way. Rip and tear hits twice. It's just pretty good when you have a uh, Geria. All right, now the Smith here should probably go on chill, but it could go on rip and tear. I think it should probably go on chill for us though. Now, unfortunately, we don't actually get chill until next set. Maybe I use the reboot here. Maybe I don't even use the reboot here, actually. No, I use the reboot. I just hope not to draw chill or dramatic entrance. Unfortunately, I got both. Because uh, obviously, both of those are cards that we're going to want later when there are more targets on the field. Uh, in using that reboot, I was trying to just shuffle those cards back into the draw pile so that I would draw them later rather than immediately draw them. Uh, unfortunate that we did. Right. Immediately got my FTL back. Thank you very much. And now we get to do even more along the lines of that. Beautiful. So incoming hit here is not yet the one I have to worry about. I will use Bullseye here before the beam cell, though, because I do want the enemy actually... <laughs> actually vulnerable. In, like, one more turn's time, we actually would have been concerned. Electrodynamics? Ooh, an Electrodynamics that's pre-upgraded in particular. It's really good with the Static Discharge, yeah? Uh, also, the extra energy is obviously incredibly important here. Cursed Key might be more important than Sozu, because if we can get the right potions for the final boss fight, we can put ourselves far ahead of the 8-ball. Um, in particular, Strength Potion doesn't really mean that much to us. Actually, most potions don't mean that much to us. All right, we'll go with Sozu then. Donu and Decca. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Okay, so we have a really early shop here, as well as like a completely safe path afterwards. Yeah, there's no way I'm not taking that one. That sucked. Had AoE cards there that I can't really play at all. In fact, uh, this turn as well. Electrodynamics is going to be our savior for this combat. And for that same reason, I can't play Reboot yet because I haven't got to the Electrodynamics. So I don't want to increase the amount of time until I actually get my first usage of it. Sure, if I take four damage, that's not too bad. Hard potion. That's actually really good. Sad to have Sozu right now. Storm, Defragment, Cold Snap. Defragment suddenly doesn't seem like an awful idea. But so far away from the core idea of this build. But the powers are always going to be upgraded because the frozen egg. I can't take the Defragment. Maybe Cold Snap, actually. Because we do desperately need defense. Uh, okay. I'm, curse of two normality. And then I have a shop in one space time in order to remove that. Remove one of them, that is. Upgrade all cards. You can no longer heal. That obviously kills us. I think maybe we take the money. The problem is the second normality being left in our deck kills us, but... If we avoid, if we go up here and just avoid all elites, maybe we get another removal. We've got to think about it. Does this change how we win? That 999 gold? With the amount of question marks we're going to go to? Possibly. All right, sure. Fossil Celix, prevent the first time you lose HP each combat. That is very important. Take that. Obviously, remove a normality. Uh. Choose skill, start to combat that in your opening hand. What skill do we want in our opening hand? Reboot? Hmm. 
Yeah, it'd just be reboot, so I play a bunch of zero costs and then reboot really quickly. It's still pretty good. Uh, the rest of these actually aren't that great either. It's really unfortunate. Hopefully we find shops later on that are much more impactful. Yeah. I'll do this combat. Because I'm not going to be fighting elites this floor, so I need to get a little bit more powerful some way, and this might this might do that for me. Ah, that was a 50-50. Damn it. Should not have left that up to a 50-50, as it turns out. Yeah, I took way more damage in this combat than I needed to. Uh, wing boots. You may ignore pilots when choosing the next room to travel to three times. Well, that's actually pretty good for us. Uh, took another copy of Barrage, I think. Jump across to a shop? Yeah. Let's do it. Defragment pre-upgraded. Um, definitely remove the final normality from the deck. Okay, now I'm actually feeling good about the decision we made earlier. Happy flower every three turns gain an energy. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take it to Fragment. I'm still not feeling great about this whole thing, though. Okay. Let's get another Smith on... I think it's just our defensive cards we need to Smith at this point. We deal enough damage. Right, final wing beat usage. Just to jump across. Uh, lose three max HP. Two madness. They don't get pre-upgraded or anything like that. Alright, we'll just lose the max HP then. Let's upgrade these final defense. Ten in, but attempt attack. Your bleed deals double damage. It's a bunch of gold for a relic. Come on. Need a shop. Need a shop to show up. Shop, show up. Shop. Uh, Self-repair isn't going to be that great in the later, so... Consume, that's really bad for us because the barrage. Alright. Machine learning pre-upgraded? Extra car per turn actually is pretty useful here. Specifically in the boss fights. Okay, finally, we got a shop at the very end as well. Beautiful. Uh, there's another FTL on sale. Hilarious. Maybe actually useful as well. Um, we'll take Gremlin Horn, definitely. Whenever an enemy dies, gain an energy and draw a card. Take an FTL and just card remove. Yeah. It's probably that consume. It's really bad and we're never going to be able to use it. Potion belt. I'm bumping up. Gain two potion slots. Hey, hey. Potion slots I can't use. Love them. I don't know how this deck wins at this point. It might win against one of these elites, but good God, it's not going to win against both of them. I can tell you that much. Okay. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. I can play a whole hand? I didn't even know that was allowed. Well, Electrodynamics is obvious here. So, get the lightning and also to the very end as well. Please cycle me to my next uh, next giant orbs of damage. And now the FTLs come out. I have so many FTLs that I actually can't just play them all. So we have double damage set up for our next attack. 36. Uh, yeah? 
Pretty good, uh, pretty good attack to be dealing double damage on. That's a Decker down. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous that we've gotten half of the bosses down already. Uh, yeah, this one doesn't work out so well for us, as you can pretty obviously see already. Reboot for a defend. Oh, God, I have the... I have Fossilized Helix. I didn't need to use any of those defends that turn. That was all awful, and I am very sad about the fact that I did it. That said, as it turns out, playing all of those cards last turn was important so that... This turn, I would be able to do other stuff. Me. Uh, it's not going to save me, though. I'm already dead. Yeah. I'm an extremely marked man, and that was not going to get better as far as combats go over the course of that fight. I mean, last run I thought was far more solid than this, and it only got to the first boss of the two at the very end of Ascension 20. This one got to the second one at the very least. Uh, if I thought better about the Fossilized Helix, I think I could have done better in that final combat, but I really don't think that I could have won, ultimately. Uh, for the moment, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully we'll see you next time.